Good morning and welcome back to One Step at a Time Farmstead. I'm Lucas and I'm so blessed to have you with me today. The last couple of days has been a bit mixed up and busy and then you get those days that you've got so much planned and it's raining all the time. Um, the seasons are a little confusing, shall I say, at this you know, this season. Um, I don't know, we went from an ice cold winter into scorching heat. Um, we, I can't really say that we had spring weather. Um, like I said, it's ice cold, scorching hot, and then, you know, for a couple of days, and then go back to being ice cold. Um, back to scorching hot. We didn't have that gradual um, inclining temperature. It's either the one extreme or the other extreme. And I think that also influences how our plants uh, germinate and develop and adds to my frustration, especially with the nightshades or the tomatoes. Cause that's the only thing I can think of. It's just been kind of frustrating and confusing trying to figure out what's going on with our seeds and seedlings. I've actually went and got to the part where I took some seeds and um, put them in a little bit of water in a glass jar to check the germination because in the seed trays no matter what I did, there was hardly any germination. So as you can see here, uh, I don't know if you can see, uh, maybe if I, yeah, there you can see a bit be better. Um, having some seeds in here, and I can check my germination. Now these are hot peppers uh, from the um, cayenne pepper family uh, called Tracer and it's something that we actually had great success on last year. And this one is eggplant that I absolutely have trouble growing and from all the seeds in here it seems like only one I didn't put a lot of seeds in here, but I see some are getting a bit moldy, but yeah, only one sprouted this uh, thus far. Maybe, maybe two. No, definitely only one. Um, let's just to try and see um, what is actually happening with the seed. Luckily some, I did the same with the tomatoes and um, some sprouted and I've already got them in uh, my seed trays and it seems like most of them are actually growing a bit. However, outside in the little garden between our kitchen and the office, I've got two volunteer tomato plants coming up and I didn't even sow tomato seed there. So how it got there, I don't know. But that seems to have sprouted and um, seems like it's growing. In the garden itself, the direct seeding, uh, nothing yet. And also in the seed trays, nothing yet it's actually two two pepper plants or maybe chili uh the hot pepper plants um that i see is coming up but yeah it's still confusing still strange but we can only keep trying we've also been looking at 
how we can get our channel to grow and build our community, how we can be more interactive with you. The only way that we can think of now is to really ask you from your side to interact with us, uh, drop a comment and just say hi or maybe make a few suggestions on um, what you guys would like to see more of. I know that my approach is basically to journal, to journal, journal our progress and what we are doing. And a lot of it is uh, bound to the season that we are in. So there will be maybe a bit more videos on gardening. <clears throat> there will be a bit more videos on gardening and um, maybe landscaping and stuff like that. Um, but we also don't want you to get bored. So yeah, if you've got suggestions, please drop them in the in the comment section and um, also just reach out and chat to us. My project for today is uh, to build two more um, raised bed gardens from from scrap that we've got here at the back. So I'm going to use um, roof sheeting and an old pallet and really just build a basic, basic um, raised bed garden because we so desperately need, you know, a bit more garden space. And this is a very small property still, um, and, but we are working toward our our life goals and dreams, and yeah, taking you and on that journey with us. And and thank you for taking the journey with us and and supporting us in our endeavors. We really do appreciate you. And thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. That's, you know, the way that you can help and support us at this stage. Yeah, so I think it's time to get to, to our project. I'm just going to finish my coffee. And yeah, then start slaving away on projects that I do love. It's, it's a blessing and it's an honor to do what I do. Yeah, and in all senses, we are blessed.
And here is our raised bed garden built from scrap materials at its spot in the back of the garden and from here we will continue to fill it with some garden waste and uh, lawn clippings and compost and yeah hopefully in a month or two we'll have a garden bed ready to plant some veggies in. Thank you for spending the day with us. We appreciate you very much. And we love you and God bless you. Goodbye.